Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a spring look for you guys. I think this is just like so perfect for spring, the soft pink lip and this bronzy kind of eye. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to be using the Morphe 350M palette and first I just ran like a lighter eyeshadow all over the lid. Now I'm going to go over it with this brownie kind of shade in the transition. And I'm bringing it kind of high up. Kind of gonna cover wherever I did that first shade with this brown. And use that as like the old all over color. Because so I'm gonna be going in with browns. So I don't really want that like lighter shade. I should have, if you can, just skip that first step and just do this color all over the lid up to the brow bone. With that same brush I'm going into this brown shade and I am going to use that as my transition shade. Now I'm picking up that next brown shade and I'm going to focus that here in the crease. Kind of bringing it inward right here and towards the lid a little. Basically we're just going to be building up these dark colors so that there is almost like a gradient effect. Bringing in about midway and into the crease. Yeah that's better. Little better. I'm just going with that first brush and I'm bringing that color in because I kind of lost it right here. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to go in with another shade in the center, but I don't want to like lose it, you know? I'm going to like do a little wing. I'm going to go along the lash line. The pigment isn't there, so I'm just going into a different palette, and I'm going to be using the Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Palette, and I'm using Multitasker. I'm going to use try that instead, see if that's a little bit more pigmented. So now that I have like all the browns that I wanted on, I'm going to go in with Joseph Colors Block Party. I told you guys I have a bunch of these. I'm going in with Lock and Key, which is just this gorge brown, I don't want to blind you, brown with some gold reflex. I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but and I'm going to run that on the lid, but mostly in here. And then as I get further out, I'm going to pat so that it blends with the rest. And I'm just going to bring it up just a tad above the crease. I accidentally put like some up here on this eye so I'm going to try to fix that because now they're going to look uneven. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it but I'm just running that transition shade kind of up here hoping to God that it's not going to be like super dark right there. So now I'm just running that transition shade under here. I'm going to grab that darker brown shade that I used to make that wing. I'm going to put it right here and kind of connect it to the top. Now I'm just going in with a brown liner. Tiny 
highlight line in the eye. Use that brush, blend it out a bit because I did not mean. That just spread like that. And then I'm just going to put some right here upward and right here along the lash line just so I have something there for when I put lashes on. And then this part, I'm just going to try to smudge and blend. So I was trying to decide what lipstick I wanted to wear and I'm going to go in with Brave from MAC. Oh and I forgot to mention that the lashes that I put on were some Hazies from Blinking Beauté. But anyways you guys, here's the finished look. I really like how it came out. I think it's like perfect for spring, you know, kind of bronzy eye and just like a soft pink lip. But I hope you guys try it out. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notification bells and I will see you guys in my next video.